maana tunasema yeye mbele ndio maana tunasema yeye mbele when i woke up and i found you people singing outside team rona i mean who could i, I would i wouldn't give anything for the world to, to not see that if i was to do it i would do it again and we are here today the western world woman is meeting with the african widow what a powerful story yeah, 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 yeah. happening in my lifetime I know there are several projects in Kenya, but it's the first time the woman, the Western woman and the African woman is talking about trauma, healing, loss, grief, and psychosocial support, and how to go deep to find the answers inside. And this woman is not talking about income generation. It's not talking about money in the pocket. It's not talking about feeding orphans. This woman is talking about herself because I believe if the self inside is okay, then the out will work. And this is what I dreamt. What is shocking, there was a woman elsewhere across the globe, many seas and miles away, who was dreaming exact same thing that I was doing. Her name is Sue Jones. And I tell you what, ladies, eh? I'm surprised today Anne went ahead. She has created a WhatsApp group for all of us, yeah. you know, social media. I have met many of you widows through social media. I've met many of you through radio. I've met many of you through talking on TV. I have met many of you physically when I visit your groups. But I can tell you what, social media is powerful. Because if it was not social media, she may have met my story through Yoga Hope. But she didn't, she saw what I was doing through my social media. And that connection, that point where we both connected. Then one day Elizabeth walked into my office and shared with me the dreams of Timbo and Yoga Hope. And before she walked out, I knew this is something I wanted to do. But I also knew I didn't want to do it for myself. Because if for myself only, I would have still failed you. It's something I wanted all of us to do together. And for that reason, we are here today. Five counties. Surely, it's amazing. Only politicians bring counties together. I call it the butterfly effect. You flip your wings, it flips over. Bringing even the five counties together, so is, is something beyond measure for me. And then bringing the African widow, the Kenyan widow, to meet the team Timbo Yoga Hope USA is another level of amazement to me. Whom do I give glory and honor? God. God. Not by our power, not by our own strength, not even by our own resources. Because the ladies here, Diane, Joanne, Emily, all of you, you raised money to make this happen to make sure that we came here. In your poverty, you gave us your own resources. Surely, I have no words and say thank you. And to have us here, feed us and keep us here for eight days and dress us beautifully on top. <laughs> Amazing. I saw Rachel today. Teacher Rachel, eh? Yes. eh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, where is the vendetta? I'm here. I saw vendetta. <laughs> Put off her Muslim dressing and wear our beautiful t-shirts and our yoga pants. And I said, God, you're faithful. Because deep down I was worried about that. How that would come, you know, would it offend her? Would it make her feel bad? But the love with this I, you've shown me. If we make mistakes in this program for these eight days, please forgive us. We are many, we are here together. The team, the management, both Timbo and Rona, we will do what we have to do. If any mistake happens, let's bear with each other. Let's live here bringing love and taking away love. It is all I ask. Let's help each other heal.
and go to the next level. And I declare Team Rona and Timbo Yoga Hope officially open. I will invite Sue to say a few words and then we will take off the program of the day. So. Many, mm, in, let's see, 12 years ago, I was in a very different place than I am today. Um, I was in an abusive marriage okay. and I had a very poor opinion of myself. Uh, I had two young children, and I felt at the time that my gift to them, my best gift to them, would be to remove myself from the earth. At that time, I discovered uh, a practice of yoga, and it helped me move from one day to the next without taking my life. But then I needed something more. I needed something to help me change how I saw myself um, so that I could feel peace inside myself. And I'm not sure how it happened, I, I'm not sure how to explain it, but this program came from some place onto paper. And um, in the last several years, it has been given to women across the world, women in the United States, women in Haiti, and women in Tehran, Iran. Program ni kum higni abiro mosekado ni ose tiko do kum mine mangen Tehran. You said uh, Haiti. Haiti, uh, United Iran? States. Uh, the U.S. be ose tiki program ni kum mine. And now Kenya. And the kusani koro wan Kenya. Come on.